Hello everyone. The topic of our group will present today is endemic species in India. The presentation will be conducted by me, Minta, and Tongfa. First, let me tell you some information about India. India is a country in South Asia and the world's second largest population. Its government is a constitutional republic that represents a highly diverse population consisting of thousands of ethnic groups and likely hundreds of languages. India is a part of the continent of Asia. The southeast is bordered by the Bay of Bengal and the southwest is bordered by the Arabian Sea. The Himalaya, the world's highest mountain range, lies in the north of the country. The climate of India can be divided in different climate zones. Because of India's size, its climate depends not only on the time of year, but also the location. This includes uh, the hot, humid tropical south, the surge in west, the hot, dry central plain, and the Himalaya or the cold mountain region in the north. The nation's climate is strongly influenced by the Himalaya and the Thai desert. This is the endemic species that we choose. First, we have the blue bull, or in a native language called a new guy, which is endemic to Indian subcontinent, majorly found in northern India. Now, despite its name, it's actually the world's largest antelope, a generalist species that can adapt to all kinds of ecosystems. This the these animal has a different feature, has a unique feature of dimorphism, which which males are gray blue while females are reddish brown, and they are mixed feeder, raising grass and browsing trees with long necks and big body to do so. And they also an interspecies co cohesive, which means they are peaceful among other herbivores with them. Next, we have the black footed gray langur, which is, all, which is endemic to India, yeah, limited to the western Ghats of mountain range at the southern part of the country. Okay. The, for, the habitat that they inhabit are a patchy rainforest and a scrub forest. They are blessed with saculated stomach, which allows them to digest leaf diets. Uh, they, their features are grayish beach colored hair and key feature the black feet and black limbs. And also they have a southern tail carriage, a tail that kept looped backward away from their head, which is unique feature to the langur that live in the southern part of the country. Next, we have the Nilgiri blue robin in an, or another name, Nilgiri Sholakili, which is also endemic to the same mountain range, limited to only the Shola forest. The Shola forests are actually a mountain forest, which is lush and moist throughout the year. Now, the Shola Kili are a prime example of endemism and speciation by climate change. They belong to the Nutavine clad, the blue flycatchers. They were originated from the Himalayan relatives since back in ages ago. But during the Miocene period, they diverge away due to, the, due to them being isolated to their habitat by the forest fragmentation due to dry conditions from climate change. And because of the isolation, it is likely because of their distinguished feature, feeding habit, and their courtship that they differentiate from others, uh, other or uh, related birds and species within the area. Yeah. One of those key one of those features is that they feed on ground for insects with their short pointed beaks. Their courtship are are of a unique whistling sound, and they are monogamous, which means one mate throughout their lives. And, they're also, and their key feature is the dark bluish gray feather with white and red belly undersides. That's 
and that's all the species is that is endemic to our country, India. Thank you for watching, everyone.